Today, I got early access to this new Formula E game called Formula Vault. This game has been going through a 2023 update for quite some time and the owner actually reached out to me which is how I got early access. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through everything they added and the cool features that this game has. The car is not a free model actually and has been made by the game itself, so the car actually looks quite nice in my opinion. There are two liveries you start off with called Energy and Sharp. You can unlock more different liveries, but keep watching to find out more about that because it is actually pretty cool. You can also buy numbers 1 to 99 in this game for Robux. However, in the early access release, they're all free. So, you know what I'm gonna do. So you know how I was talking about different liveries? Well, they have this feature much like Ultimate Team in FIFA, where you can open packs to get new liveries for your car. This means you can spend hours trying to get the best livery, which seems tedious, but if you play FIFA, you've easily spent 10 hours and more doing the 84 times 10 so don't complain. You can buy these packs with in-game currency called Watts, because it's a Formula E game, and there's a couple packs already, so let's open one. You earn what's just by doing laps which leads me onto the actual racing which is what this game was made for. There are three modes the game offers. Time trial which is where you can set your lap times around the three tracks in the game so far. Mexico City, Cape Town and Rome. There's another mode called free drive where you are free to drive. There is also a race mode where you can race others but I can't because there's nobody online. Now let's just do a hot lap of each of the three tracks and see how long it takes us to set an actual lap. Now here we have a lap of Mexico which I actually managed to do first try. So here is the exit out of the last corner now onto this long right hander which reminds me of the actual Mexico City track in F1. And we go a little bit wide there, have to lift off. But now we're onto the curbing and here we are for our hot lap across the grid. Start line we immediately want to start braking so we can make this first corner and then accelerate up into this long right hander as well this track has a lot of right handers long long handers you could say and then we go into this quick left hander then switch back onto the right and then we want to take this very slow so we can mat get this hairpin here i take it way too slow there but we managed to somehow make it which is better than extending off into the runoff and now we go down here into a very whip tight chicane so we have to break very early touch the cane curb don't touch the out curb but touch the wall there so now we exit out of the corner and into this turn that reminds me of the mexico grandstand section as you can see all the grandstands there make that corner now we want to break as soon as we have meet that runoff there the blue runoff go back left and then we go on the curbing causes us to spin out a little bit we managed to catch it go off track a little bit and now we're back at the last corner and we've made it back onto the long right hander we want to be on a very inside line so that's why we're hugging the wall in the right and that did not pan so well so we go back onto the curbing to make a lap and it's going to be a 115 and that is a lap of mexico now we have our Cape Town hot lap in South Africa and you can notice the track is a lot more red. Now on start finish straight now we're here on the left we have to break very early here for a tight left hander. I've made so many mistakes around here it's unreal because the brakes are a bit not well they're not, not that strong. So now we go into this mini straight here on the left we want to stay full flat out here except for that bit because you can take it flat out. And now we keep on going down. It's not a mini straight, actually, I lied. And then we want to break here very heavily for this weird long chicane kind of thing. I broke way too early, so I just lifted off the pedal. 33 2 for a first sector. We want to go flower here, not here, not there. And yeah, we make that corner to the left. 
next one. I confused it with the next corner that's coming up, I think. I hope. And now it's just a straight. I don't really know what to talk about. Straight. There's nothing to talk about. Straight. But yeah, here we are. The flat out corner. Then we want to start breaking for this one. Because you can't take that one flat out. Because you want to make it here. Into this city section break here. It's like very tight left. This, this game has a lot of tight left and right hand corners. Like 90 degrees. But now we go into this. And now it's a full push to the end. Little bump there. Doesn't matter. There's the pit entry. Don't want to go there. We're not pitting. And we make it around the right hander. Cross the grid. And it's going to be... A 116. And now the final track, Rome in Italy. Now, this is actually the longest of the three tracks and also has the weirdest start because I didn't even realize that was a start there for my first couple of attempts. But now we've got it down and we have go into this first corner, the left hander, 90 degrees again. This shows so many 90 degrees corners onto this grid, which I actually thought was the start, but I was horribly mistaken. Now we go into the second left hand corner and now into this very green trees area straight and we set a 27 second first sector which is actually the fastest out of the three sectors i've done here i've done here my bad and yeah downhill there's like two downhill sections there which is kind of weird i lift off hugely there losing so much time back into another 90 degree, oh my goodness, there's so, my, so many 90 degree corners. And into another one. There we go, maximize our exit. Now we go very off the apex of that corner. And again on this one too. And now we have this mini straight here. We actually managed to set a purple second sector, even though that was absolutely abysmal. Now into the chicane, we managed to get our rear right tires touching the curbing thing there. It's kind of weird, it's like concrete and stuff. But now we want to hear this very weird corner as well i've may have messed up so much there and this one's even weirder because there's so much runoff here but we managed to get a tighter line i mean good not the best of excess but better than nothing and now into another another 90 degree one guess guess what's up another 90 degree corner well it's kind of like a chicane not really but whatever another 90 degree corner and we finally finish the lap a little bit of hand movement there mouse and it's a 151 zero so that marks the end of the video make sure if you enjoyed it to subscribe and like and thank you to the owner again for allowing me early access so make sure when the game comes out to play it formula vault remember the name